I want you to talk to me about May. Are you very much in love with her? As much as a man can be. Do you think there's a limit? In that moment, he begins along the path, which is inevitably going to get him into one hell of a lot of trouble. Perhaps I've been too independent. All I really want is to feel cared for and safe. I don't think she realizes again how provocative she's being. Is there someone else? Someone else? Between you and me? She will not let that ruin her marriage. She will fight to the death to hold on to that. I've never really done a period film before uh, of this kind. I was always interested because I, I've been a great fan of uh, period films over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, I like very much The Heiress. Did, did you ever see that? Yes, that I Montgomery did, yeah. Clifton yeah. And, and um, Ralph Richardson and, and Olivia de Havilland. And I think one of the things I liked about The Heiress a lot was the accessibility of the characters. Yeah. And I, I, I hope that when people see The Age of Innocence, uh, there's a, a sense of being placed into that m morality of the time yeah. so that they understand what these, what these conflicts are. May guess the truth. There is another woman. The themes which are love, passion, conscience, commitment, they're pertinent and immediate and compelling at any time, uh, whether it's 1993 or 2010. Nothing's, nothing's done that can't be undone. I'm still free. We have the same problems of wanting things that we can't have and having things that we don't want. And that's what this story is about. Uh, this is what we're doing over there. They came with the chair. Elegant silver forks, knives, well, that's on the table. Delicate glass were on the table. I usually prepare very, very carefully. And it's wonderful because when I get to the set, I realize there's still many things I don't know about the scene, yes. about the camera placements, about the lighting, about, uh, right. about the costumes. You try on paper and in your mind, the night before you're shooting, you try, you try. It, it, uh, it certainly keeps you, it keeps you on your toes. Would be all right. Yeah, could you open up facing camera? Switch on the lights, even better. Good thinking. <laughs> Marty is the kind of director who has the movie in his head when he starts the movie. He knows about the rhythm so much, how he wants the rhythm to work. And I understand so much about the, his rhythm, and I like it so much that for me it's always, it's so much fun to read his shot list because it's like, whew, it's, you're going on a trip, it's great, it's just, it's um, wonderful. comes to a film not with little bits and pieces, but he comes to it with the whole thing is already there. When we're working on stuff together, I'll send him a version I've worked on, and then he'll work on it and send it back to me. And the versions I send him come back with pictures. He's already storyboarding, outline. He's got windows, and he's got little arrows, and he's got people, his little figures. And I get these things. They're so complicated and so involved, and he's gotten so deeply involved in the material. He doesn't just see the characters, he sees their entire world around them and he, he's able to create the world. Through the set dressing and all the decorating and all the dishes and the food, you really know 
more and uh, have a greater depth of understanding about these people and who they are. I work with the research, with all uh, the books, but my best way for me for work is, uh, um, it's, I think, to live in that period. And, and I start to think like an architect or decorator or, or designer for that period. There's a lot of subtlety in the film. For example, when Archer enters the Beaufort house for the first time for this big ball, which is in the early part of the film, there's a table laid out with gloves. That is about the tradition in those days. You would go to a ball if you were a man with a stack of gloves, and every time you danced with another woman, you would change your gloves. That's not explained in the film, but it's there as part of the texture, of the many textures in the film. I always envy the actors because they get to go back to school. Yes. Kind of like, you know. And that's yeah. most of us Every have movie. total reprobates at school. At school, it gives exactly. Us a momentary <laughs> illusion that we're actually being rather good students. Yes. You, know? you had to do this, you had to go study that, you had to physically yeah. do certain things and, yeah. and learn a whole new culture. When you came to meet me in Paris in, uh, in the hotel room, uh, you were dressed already as Archer. Open the door and you were already dressed, suit and tie. I suppose at some point I must have made a decision, although I don't remember making it, um, to go through that every day. I do that with actors a lot where I, I call them by the character's name, but in this case, when I was working with you on the set, it was really Archer. And this is the first time we're really talking about it, but it's interesting because I felt very comfortable with, it, with him, with Archer. Mm. And I knew that he would know how to go about things. The etiquette books that we read discussing just the uh, gentleman's dinnerware the dinner dress for gentlemen alone, they said, was, was a, a, an object of torture. Uh, an object of torture. <laughs> so you begin with that understanding. And they had to eat these, what, 12 courses? <laughs> Every night. I mean, even yeah. if only at home. Quiet yes. dinner at home right. with the missus. Right. You know, and right. there you'd be in the, the full monkey suit and the, right. Right. everything. And the minute you are laced up in that corset, it changes everything. Clothing was very symbolic of the way women were repressed in that society and restricted and unable to be free with expressing themselves or saying what they think or relaxing at all. I mean, in those dresses, you literally can barely breathe. There's a kind of sensuality about the rituals, the social rituals of the time, a real kind of uh, beautiful precision to the manners, which can also be stifling. I mean, that's part of the point of the, of the drama. 